life am I gonna use? Richard me! This is the knife you'll be using! In this episode, we'll be testing a $400 knife if he has a $1 knife. While the answer might seem obvious, in this battle it will become clear exactly how much difference there is between a cheap and a premium knife. The Falcon Even S1 Pro and COS with a recommended retail price of over 400 euros will compete against the 12 euro Mora and the $1 Devil's Kitchen Knife. Alright people, not people. Alright ladies and gentlemen. The test, first of all we're gonna make 25 feather sticks per knife and we're gonna use the S1 Pro the Mora Companion and the Kitchen's uh, Devil Kitchen's knife. Devil, the real And I will be using this knife <laughs> So this is a test for edge retention, right? Yeah To All see right. how long the edge, uh, how long the steel can preserve but an edge Let's check out the sharpness yeah. first Crazy sharp <laughs> Alright Let's start this uh, festival of feather sticking Okay, 25 the knife here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, by the way, I know Martin loves this test. This is your favorite test, so that's why I gave him the crappy uh, crap kitchen knife. And now uh, we'll show you how this went down the last time we did this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My brother from another mother. <laughs> oh, that's <cold>. ah. like, <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> ah. <laughs> All right, we're finally done. All right, let's see how sharp it still is. Okay, that's still... Mm. But that's the thing with these with these knives. They are really, really thin, so they always cut pa through paper very nicely. But I can tell you, the edge is one roll. It's one a, big roll. It's a disaster. I'm not liking this. I'm not liking this. This is five times as thick as this one. So it cuts through paper a lot harder like to start with. This still is really sharp. But this still really, really is sharp. No damage at all. Oh my God! Ah! But that's at least you can respect, uh, expect from a $400 knife. So the winner of this test is by far the $400 knife. Not because of the cutting result, but also because of the easiness it performed the task. Yep. And with the kitchen knife, it was hell! Next test. <laughs> Just wanted to say that this is my most expensive knife, but not my best knife. If you want to see my best knife, click this, this link here. <laughs> the next test is the crafting test. I'll be making three ten packs with all three knives. First, the kitchen knife. As one might expect, the kitchen knife was a complete disaster to carve with. Falkneven S1 Pro. Although the Falkneven is thick, it was sharp and made a very decent tent pack. Beautiful tent pack. <laughs> because the Mora has a scanty grind, it was definitely the best carver. So the big winner of this test is the $10 Mora. Second place is the $400 S1 Pro. Third place is the $1 knife. So for the next test I thought it would be a good idea. <laughs> Tip test! Alright, that was quick. This tip broke. Mora. This hurts my hand. All right, tip didn't break, so uh, good, good heat treatment. The S1 Pro. Oh my God! Oh. 
look at this chunks all right no problem at all for this one this is the absolute winner of the tip test. Oh my god, so, it was only $400. Oh yeah. Oh my. So one dollar knife filled the tip test. The Mora, the, the point did dull a little bit. I can see a roll on the, on the tip. Second place and of course, by a big margin, the winner is the S1 Pro. But timing. Oh, this knife is hell. So the wood you just saw was soft pine wood. This is hard man wood. <laughs> this is oak, hardest wood in this forest. Just to give you in comparison, the same mood with the S1. And last, but not least, my favorite kitchen devil's knife. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Ah, it broke at such a weird place. In look at, look at, at the way it broke. It didn't even break by bending. It just broke downwards. Yeah. Ah. All right. Okay, so, so um, conclusion about the batoning. Uh, the S1 Pro, absolute beast in batoning. Yeah. The Mora, uh, a little too small for batoning. Not full tank. Not recommendable. Yeah. Get your knife. Don't baton with it. <laughs> <laughs> so we've done all these tests, and to see how it has performed still cuts paper fairly decently okay i'm very <laughs> i'm quite happy actually to see this last but not least the 400 dollar s1 pro look at that people I promise you guys, I see. But COS isn't even the best steel in terms of edge retention. No. It just is a very well balanced steel. I think it's a very, very good knife, and it could be a lot of people's favorite knife if you like a, a little bit bigger knife, very sturdy, kind of a survival knife. Is this knife 40 times better than this knife? No, of course not. No, but no. that's with everything in the world, people. Yeah. This is just a very decent knife for its price, and probably even the best knife for its yeah. price. One dollar knife. knife. Is it worth one dollar? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to see that is a $400 knife worth $400? The knife and tools is a little bit cheaper. I think that this knife in the higher price range is one of the best knives you can buy. Yeah, very well balanced. No, yeah. it's no longer with us. <laughs> okay, here we go. Balancing on the knife, people. Oh yeah. Woo! -hoo. <laughs> this, ladies and gentlemen. This really is the last life standing. People, hope you like this video. Let's get to 10,000 likes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, thank you very much for watching. And uh, this was Dutch Food Scarf Live signing out. <laughs> <laughs>